Beloved, this is Linda Carroll from the east side of the Big Island in Hawaii, wanting to, to share with you a word that the Lord highlighted for me to record today. And this word is such a gift. It was given by the Holy Spirit after a session of soaking and worship, often these beautiful gems of these nuggets of truth and life um, come at the end of a soaking worship session with often a small group that's gathered. And we often learn about how to vertically worship and to go to the Father, um, to go boldly before his throne. And I often teach these small groups how to come into that presence and to um, get away, to have a secret place experience in a small setting or even in a crowded room with a pop-up worship tent and a pop-up secret place and this beautiful word is what God wanted me to release today and so it's my pleasure to share this with you. I made some notes because I had seen things during the worship, as I often do, and in this soaking time, I saw breaker angels that were coming to break down walls, and I saw walls, and I also saw hearts that needed bandages, and in that soaking session I also saw chains falling and shackles removed and as I share this word I know that we've not just soaked but I encourage you when you want to hear from God to just plan a time of worshiping with him and declaring his character and see how God shows up and reveals himself to you. So, beloved, I'm reading now what the Lord said. Thank you, Lord, for this. He said, I am powerful, and I am present with you, my beloved. Lean into me for comfort and for direction. I will comfort. I am comfort. Thank you, Lord. I am wiping away the tears that represent past hurts and concerns. <laughs> A new day is dawning for you, beloved, even now. As this word is read, I am releasing new life to you. Thank you, Jesus. New portions and new territory. Thank you, Lord. Truly, I am releasing new life to you, my beloved. Thank you, Lord. We receive that. I have made a way where there seems to be no way. Thank you, Lord. I bring up abundant life to you. Thank you, Lord. Lean in and trust me, for I release and I reveal secrets to you, my beloved. Thank you, Lord. I delight in your worship. I inhabit your praise. <laughs> He's here, beloved, even as we read this, and you can receive of this by your audible thanksgiving or holding out your hands to receive 
in your homes. Thank you, Lord. Come, let us reason together. Let us rejoice together in the harvest season. Thank you, Lord. Rejoice in the bumper crop. Thank you, Lord. The angelic help available to you. Yes. It is released even now in my mercy and my love for you. Thank you, Lord. Come close, dearly beloved. Come even closer. Let our love deepen for each other and for the lost and the hurting. Yes, God. Let us bind up the wounds together. Thank you, God. Be my heart to others and to those around you, to those near you. Yes, God. Be kindness and generosity before others and to others. Thank you, Lord. Care and tend to the hurting as I release love and healing to you, my bride. Release it to others. Overflow with pure love to those around you. Take the heaven challenge to reach out and touch the broken. Be my hands extended. Let us fill the banquet table. Let us invite the hungry to join us. Yes, God, arise and shine my life and my love to those you meet. Let us love together. Let us make the offer together. Beloved, you may find them in unlikely places, settings, and times. Be prepared with an invitation to the feast. Let everyone celebrate. Don't leave out the infirm, the aged, the young, the poor, or the wealthy. Invite them all. Please get out your wedding planner. Let us, the bride and the groom, plan the details for our celebration. Let us write the guest list. Thank you for looking ahead, for seeking advice and time with your forever love. Consider the details, count the cost. Will we need to look in the alleys on the back roads to fill the table? Leave none off the guest list of our wedding. A forever celebration. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Let us go back over the plans. Prepare your gown, your garments. Your dress will be glorious. Thank you, Lord. My love is deep for you. I will help you with all the details. We will call all the musicians to come forth with song. We will dance. We will rejoice. <laughs> come, be close. Trust in me. My love is deep. My love is strong. I am the promise keeper. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Be aware of all opportunities to share your plans. Come and let us rejoice together, celebrate, rejoice, and look forward. Do not return to the dead end. Leave all blocked roads that lead to death. Be set free in me. Let your spirit rejoice. Write your plans. Yes, God. <laughs> Dream. Thank you, Lord. Step into the new. Go forth. Don't despise small steps. I am always with you. 
So Lord, I just thank you. And I'm almost feeling tears of your deep compassion, Lord, that no one should be overlooked, that we can start our wedding planner. Beloved, you can take a journal and you can write wedding journal, wedding planner. He said, let's reason together. Let's do this together. Let's put the guest list together. Those family members that need Jesus, we can celebrate forever with them. We can do it in unusual ways. We can go in the alleys or the back roads. We can serve the homeless when they're hungry. We can go to the hidden places, even by text and email. Thank you, Lord. He so delights in you and he loves celebration. He loves the feast. And he loves that we will write down a plan, that we will plan for the details. We will prepare our gown, our garments of worship and praise. Thank you, Lord, that for any spirit of heaviness or um, depression, discouragement, fear, Lord, that we love the new song that's out. We'll put on a garment of praise and worship. We will wear, when those are around us, they'll see what our wardrobe is a praising, worshiping wardrobe. And we wear it, we put it on. And so, beloved, there's so many things in this beautiful word that was given to me in early 2018 that applies to today. He doesn't want to leave out the aged, the neighbor that you never see, the single parents, the single blended um, family situations, the children from homes that were broken that are now grown and overcoming um, issues and um, confidence and identity. So Lord, thank you that you came in this word and said that you were wiping away tears that represent our past hurts. I saw um, souls that needed and hearts that needed bandages wrapping like gel to take out the sting. And so, beloved, we step forward out of that past and we see the new day that's dawning, that's divine, supernatural, and a gift. He wants to bring you abundant life. Starting right now, as an act of your will, you can be a harvester. You can be a revivalist anointed by him to bring many to the banquet, to the feast, to the reception, to the wedding, for a forever rejoicing. And he's bringing you help so that we have a bumper car crop of harvest in this season. We can arise and shine. We can shake off what didn't work out, that dust of the past. He said, be prepared when you see someone with an invitation to the feast. Do you have something prepared that you can give to the stranger or the one on the side of the road that has a sign that needs food, that needs water, that says they'll work for food. That one that's been very damaged emotionally, that one that needs to know <laughs> 
that there's the most amazing feast and banquet and that they're invited. So I speak this blessing over you as we receive this word. I encourage you, if you feel like you've been sent to your room to think about your life during this time, if you feel like an adult that's on time out, if you feel like you're having to create lesson plans, not only for your children who aren't in school, but for yourself so that you can recover from the business that that you put everything into and you've had to close it down. Beloved, he said that there's kindness and generosity challenges. It may be like a game for your family, but it is a forever outcome. It can be the wedding planner game that your family It's not a game, it's a challenge, but it's a time of thanking him, keeping busy, sending texts and mailing letters and sending encouragement, bringing restoration, bringing a beautiful forever encouragement. He said, don't leave out the poor or even the wealthy who don't know that they're poor. Beloved, let us dance. Let us celebrate. Let us take joy. So I thank you, beloved, for allowing me to share this. And no matter what your age or your situation Don't despise the small steps that you might make. And if you're one that loves to write, just ask the Lord to show you what you can do today. That lunch box that you can pack that will multiply to bring thousands to the feast that matters, the wedding that matters. You may be single. What a wonderful joy this could be to plan a wedding, a future wedding. For you are his beloved and you are promised to him. So I just thank you for this. And I just thank you for listening. Thank you for liking and subscribing to Prophetic Oasis. And sharing a comment of what you would like to do towards breaking through and having walls come down and having your heart to be bandaged and walking forward to invite others. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. In Jesus' name. To God be the glory forever.